Hey guys, if you're wondering why I'm more dressed up than normal, it's because it's a special occasion. Uh, today is the sixth annual White House Science Fair, the last of the Obama administration, and I am at the White House. Yes, we are in line waiting to go in and we're gonna go see the amazing things on offer. Uh, don't worry, I'm not too clean. There's still dirt under my fingernails. I'll see you inside. So this is the very thick of it. This is the White House Science Fair. They've devoted about, it looks to me like eight or nine rooms in the actual White House, not the office building next door. We are in the White House and it is packed with kids and their science experiments. And I'm not talking about volcanoes, but you already knew that. We're talking about kids who are building robots and launchers and literally curing cancer with their science fair projects. It's crazy inspiring. We're gonna take a look around. My name is Augusta Womanzuna and I'm from Elmont Memorial High School and I live in Elmont, New York. And you might be wondering, why am I holding cement in my hand? And I'm just going to tell you that I've been working with cement for three years now and I was captivated by the fact that cement is highly energy intensive. So the 2010 Gulf oil spill was actually caused by an inadequate cement seal. So my goal was to engineer a new cement seal that was highly flowable but had high, a high rate of structural rebuilding. So by adding a type of clay called adipolgite, I found that the adipolgite modified cement slurries had increased structural rebuilding and had increased flowability, especially under high pressure conditions. And I'm really grateful to be here to at the White House Science Fair today to share my work and to share why I'm really passionate about cement. Augusta, that's amazing. First of all, congratulations for being thank at the you, White House. Thank you. Um, is there, was it, how old are you? I am 17 years old. Amazing. Uh, is, there, is there a teacher early on, or a parent, that, that encouraged you to, to understand that this well, was a wide open field and you could jump so, in? So, um, I kind of came across cement randomly, but my teacher, my current science research teacher, Miss Michelle Flannery, was the one who really inspired me to not only limit myself, because, you know, I started with the more conventional biology project, and I had this parochial outlook, but I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to have the same project as anyone else, so I came across cement, which is, which I thought was rocks and water, but I was yeah. really, you know, surprised to see its large carbon footprint and to see that it's literally everywhere and it being the second most consumed material, we had, we still had limited understanding about it. So I just took that as my motivation. I'm really thankful to Miss Michelle Flannery and my current mentor, Dr. Shio Kawashima, for everything they've done to support me in this, you know, very interesting topic. Amazing. <laughs> I am so inspired by you. Thank yes, you so thank much you. for showing us your project. You're welcome. <laughs> this is amazing. Eight-year-old Jake behind me wrote to a 3D printer company and said, hey, you should send me a 3D printer and I'll give you some tips on how well it works. Uh, and he's got a table full of toys and inventions that he's made on the 3D printer they sent him. That's chutzpah. It's I got a hot tip from a friend of mine who's an astronaut that in the corner here are a couple of rocket scientists disguised as little girls and uh, I'm going to go talk to them right now. Hi, I'm Rebecca and I'm 11 years old. My name is Kimberly and I'm 9 years old. This is our Loki Lego launcher. We built this spacecraft and we sent it up to 78,000 feet. Really nice to meet you. Are you from Mythbusters? I am from Mythbusters. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I hear that you like our show. Yeah. So tell me what you've got going on here. So we built this spacecraft, the Loki Lego launcher, and we sent it up to 78,000 feet. You yeah. sent a rocket to 78,000 feet? Um, not a rocket. No, not a rocket. A launcher. Yeah. yeah. You launched Loki, and Loki is the cat, right? Yes. Yeah. That's a, well, it's a picture of the cat. Uh, right. I, yeah. <laughs> and you were able to find the cat again when it came back down. How did you go about doing this whole thing? Um, it's, there's a GPS tracker on it. Okay. And what did you use to launch? A balloon? Yes. yes. It's a weather balloon filled with helium. And then when the air molecules inside get too far apart, then it pops open because of the lack of pressure. And then <laughs> oh, okay. it, it comes down with a parachute. Which and then we're able to find it. 
So, what are your ambitions? Do you have an idea about what you'd like to study when you're older? Uh, I want to study robotics, and I want to be a robotic engineer. What do you want to study when you grow up? I'm not sure. Definitely something in STEM. Um, I really like science and technology. They're my favorite subjects in school. Okay, congratulations for being here at the White House Center. Can I have a high five? Can I have a high five? All right, and let's take a selfie. Okay. <laughs> This is really cool. Behind me is the White House Library. It's where the president used to give the fireside chat. It's also where Jamie and I and our Mythbusters crew filmed our episode with President Obama, the Archimedes Solar Ray, right in that room. Ah, oh, it's like memory lane. So that's it. That, my friends, was the sixth annual White House Science Fair. The last of the Obama administration, but not the last. It can't be the last. It won't be the last. Nothing that inspiring is going to end here. That was amazing. I'm going to go home and build something.